What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ostentoski here of MGO Fish, bringing you another episode of Recruit Review. I apologize for the brief delay. I had some vacation work stuff come up, but today we're covering the top recruit from Michigan's 2019 class, four-star running back, Zach Charbonnet. Charbonnet is out of California. He went to Oaks Christian High School. Loaded talent year in, year out. They play some of the top programs in the state of California, which is a state well-known for its high school talent. And let's roll it right into his stats here. Slightly lower load his senior year. You see he has just over 1,700 yards and 13 touchdowns. His junior year carried more of the load over 2,000 yards, 23 touchdowns. He had about 8.2 yards per carry as a senior uh, compared to 7.7 yards per carry as a junior. Some crazy stats his sophomore year. He only had 82 carries, but he put up 23 touchdowns. That means every four carries he scored at least one touchdown. That's insane production at over 10 yards per carry as well. He wasn't even a starter his sophomore year, so that shows you that uh, Oaks Christian is pretty loaded year in, year out with talent. So he wasn't a camp guy, so I don't have any 40 time or agility stats for you. He did run track. He ran a 11.29 100 meter his junior year. To compare that to other running backs, Saquon Barkley ran a 11.28 his senior year. Also, I didn't list it, but he did pick up about 150 yards both his junior and senior year. Okay, moving on to recruitment. He was a pretty low-key recruit. He didn't hit the camp circuit too much. He had a final group of Michigan amongst some other uh, high-tier Pac-12 programs, including UCLA, USC, Washington, and then another Big Ten program in Wisconsin. That was his final group with Michigan. He officially visited Ann Arbor on June 22nd, 2018, and then committed two days later. So I mentioned the Wisconsin offer. He had other notable Big Ten offers, including Penn State, Michigan State, and Nebraska. He had essentially all of the Pac-12 offers, and then some notable offers outside of the Big Ten Pac-12, including Notre Dame, uh, some SEC offers, Florida, Tennessee. He had LSU, Oklahoma, TCU in there as well. He had a really strong relationship with Jay Harbaugh. He mentioned that quite a bit. He also cited the strength and conditioning program at Michigan really impressed him. This was right around the time Ben Herbert was hired last summer in 2018. So obviously that played a big role in getting Charbonnet on board. Okay, moving on to his ratings. All the sites agree he is a high four-star. Both 247 and Rivals has him as the fourth best running back with ESPN just behind as number five running back in the country. Rivals and 247 also have him as a top 10 prospect in the state of California. ESPN's not as high on him having him outside the top 10 at 15th. The composite has him right around the 50 range at 46 overall in the country. Rivals has him at 60, 247 is the highest at 38, and then ESPN has him just outside of the top 100. All sites agree that he is 6'2", and around 215, 220, depending on where you ask. He was an early enrollee, so he's probably at the upper end of that, if not more so by now. Okay, let's move on to scouting. So height is usually not a good thing when it comes to running backs. Of course, it's not always the case, but you look at someone like Ty Isaac, who didn't really pan out as a five-star Bo Scarborough, who was a late draft pick. However, Charbonnet shows agility, good feet, gets low in running. I'm going to paste a full scouting report from Greg Biggins here below. I'll put it somewhere here. I don't know. I'll just say the highlights, but feel free to pause and read the scouting report. Zach Charbonnet is a banger between the tackles. He doesn't go down at first contact. He falls forward, plus top end speed. He's a decisive runner. He shows wiggle and fluidity. He has good pad level, natural feet, instincts, whole awareness. He catches the ball out of the backfield, and he's an every down back. So those are the highlights from the scouting report. All of that at 6'2", 215, 220. Essentially don't get injured, and you're a first round pick. This was essentially the consensus across all scouts who covered him. Pretty impressive. You couldn't really find anything negative about him. Let's get to the film because that will speak more volumes than any scouting report I can put here. I could have 10 minutes of film here. I'll include links in the description because I highly recommend you watch all of the highlights out there on him. They're ridiculous. I chose a couple of plays here that I think best exemplify his skill set as well as just some of my favorites. Okay, play number one here, pitch to the outside. He shows some speed getting to the outside, then an in stride hurdles the defender. Shows great balance after the hurdle as well. I'll show a quick replay here. Gets to the sideline and he doesn't really lose any speed after the hurdle. He lands, catches himself, and keeps going for the touchdown. Really great. Play number two here, handoff near the goal line. Defender in the background shoves him off with an impressive strength stiff arm there. Thrown straight to the ground, here's a replay. 
boom. And then he shows good speed to, to outrun a couple of the guys in the backfield as well to score a touchdown. Pitch left here, play three, showing some creativity here, cutting backside, freezes defenders in the backfield. Nice stiff arm here. He's got four defenders, little hesitation, and then he's in for the score. So just really impressive. Focus on his handwork on this run, play four. Does an excellent job not allowing tacklers to get a clean shot at him. Uses his hands really well to block off tackle attempts. Great balance coordination here to pick up some extra yards at the end of the play. Play five, draw play, beautiful jump cut. Then another stiff arm here to create some separation. Then the speed, acceleration to the sideline, balance to stay in bounds after the shove to score. Pure speed on this play, play six, handoff up the middle, one cut and boom, he is gone. Not only does he have acceleration, he has the long speed to pull away. Another draw play here. Again, one cut and boom, up boom up the sideline he goes. He's not a guy defenders will catch. He has the long speed plus the acceleration to get there. Watch how smooth this first cut is right there. And then another one here to put a guy in the grass. And then again, it's all about speed. You'll see at the end here, show some contact at the end. Again, he did play linebacker, so uh, it's a good sign in terms of contact. Number nine, again, another excellent jump cut there. And then acceleration to get away from 48. I'll show a replay here. But he shows excellent jump cuts, both initially and then reactionary from what the play is happening. So watch, watch this first. So he makes a cut. Boom, jump cut to get out of the safety. Number 48 right there is coming. And Charbonnet just shows excellent acceleration to get away from him. And then another cut to leave another defender in the dust. So just great jump cuts, great moves. And overall, he has the kind of film that you watch with some elite athletes against kids like in Connecticut, right? It looks like a guy who's just a, clearly a step above the rest. And then you realize, oh, it's California. This is some of the top talent, some of the best high school football in the country. Then you're like, okay, well, he's you know, 5'10", 190, really good athlete at the position of running back. And then it's like, wait, he's 6'2", 220, and he's moving like that. It's pretty ridiculous, the top end speed, acceleration, and moves that he has. Plus, he's not afraid of contact, at least not seemingly. So it's a pretty deadly combination. In terms of the good, bad, and what I want to see more of, it's good, whereas jump cuts, I think he has excellent moves in the open space against defenders. I think his acceleration is fantastic. His top end speed is not elite, but at 6'2", it is plenty. He's a really good stiff arm that kind of goes with his juke move, but he, he displayed a really adept stiff arm that goes with kind of his hand fighting moves while he's running. And then finally, his vision does appear to be a plus. And then in terms of bad, I don't know, injury, he had a men meniscus operation performed this spring, so heal up from that, and then you should be good. Honestly, there's not a whole lot of bad that I see anywhere with Charbonnet here. Real quick before we get to projection, I uh, just want to thank you guys for all the support you've had thus far for the series. Uh, you guys have been great subscribing and liking the videos. Really appreciate that. Uh, I'm pulling your comments from the previous episode. I'm going to put them in a poll on my Twitter for the next episodes. So encourage you guys to go follow that and contribute there as well as well as put any new uh, recruits you want me to cover in the comments below, and they'll make a future poll from those as well. So definitely read all your comments and appreciate it all thus far. Okay, let's get to projection. Even though he was an early enrollee, he was out in the spring due to a procedure on his meniscus. Reports are that he will be available this fall, but it doesn't appear that he had any advantage in the spring. With Evans being academically suspended, Turner was out for most of the spring with a hamstring injury. There's not a whole lot of running backs to compete with Charbonnet. We have Drew Wilson, uh, who did a good job last year as kind of a backup running back who will be there. I would expect Wilson to be the main guy at least early, but there's really no reason beyond getting Charbonnet back to injury, back to full form, why he wouldn't carry the lion's share. I think the number of carries he gets will be amount of liability he is as a pass protecting running back seems like a sharp enough guy i'm sure he can do it as the year progresses i want charbonnet to be the guy i think he has what it takes it's just a matter of getting him there if there's one guy in the 2019 class i think michigan needs to get there you could argue dax hill 
I think it's Charbonnet having a good dependable running back, especially one of his skill set. He's really the final piece of the puzzle to put together this really impressive offense for 2019. Okay, that's it guys. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching. Check the description for links to other videos I mentioned earlier. I'll see you guys next episode. I'm hoping to put out a lot more content in July and August. Hope you all have a great day and as always, go blue.